Well, hello. I hope you are all doing well out there. I just made my first cup of coffee for the morning, and that got me thinking about a topic that I would like to chat about. Uh, and that's because how I make my coffee has changed just a little bit. Not much, but there's been a little change there. And I just wanted to chat about that. Uh, so let's have a little coffee chat in a van. Now, if you're new here to my coffee chat series, uh, this is just a little video series I do from time to time that uh, just us getting together, having a little chat. And I realize that uh, the chat is going to be a little one sided. I'm going to do all the chatting. And uh, hopefully, if you like what I'm chatting about, you'll sit down and maybe make your own cup of coffee or other libation uh, and uh, just relax and uh, have a listen. Uh, and if you uh, have some strong opinions about what I'm chatting about, you can uh, always leave an opinion down in the comment section below. Uh, if it's a nice comment, I will enjoy reading that. Over the last several months, I have been using a coffee brewer called an AeroPress Go. That's this device here. This is a very simple coffee brewer, but it always makes really good tasting coffee. And that's why this has been the brewer of choice for me for months now, uh, maybe maybe even a couple of years now. I, I forget how long ago I bought this brewer, but uh, I've really grown to enjoy this brewer, not only because it's so easy to use, but because it always gives me a really good tasting cup of coffee out of it. Now this AeroPress Go brewer is made to collapse down and fit into its own little cup and lid that you see here. Uh, now, this is something that I have not used, uh, but uh, it's kind of a neat feature that the brewer would collapse down and fold into its own little cup, which one makes it easy to transport, but it also keeps the brewer clean if, if that's what you're going to do, if that's what you're going to use the brewer for as a, as a travel brewer. Uh, this is not something that I have been using. Uh, because I, I just prefer to use a nicer mug, uh, one like my new mug here. But my new mug has proved to be a bit of a problem. My new mug has quite a large diameter here on top, and when it comes to brewing coffee, my AeroPress Go doesn't fit on top. It just wants to pop down into the mug, meaning that it makes it nearly impossible to press this piston uh, when it comes time to brewing the coffee and get the coffee brewing process done. So that caused me a bit of a problem. Uh, and I was getting around this problem by just brewing into another device. Uh, I could have brewed into the cup that the uh, AeroPress comes with, but I don't really like brewing into plastic. And so I was uh, brewing into a milk pitcher, a milk frothing pitcher, and then uh, pouring that brewed coffee into my mug, and I didn't like that. It, it got kind of tiresome. Uh, so after thinking about this for a while, I decided to go ahead and buy a regular full-size AeroPress. So that's what I have here now. Now, there's not a big difference with these AeroPresses. Uh, this regular AeroPress and the AeroPress Go are the same diameter, uh, but the regular AeroPress is just a little bit taller, and maybe you can see that here on camera. Since it's not made for travel, uh, the, the flange on the bottom of, of the regular size AeroPress is just a little bit larger. Maybe you can see that there. So this fits, this new AeroPress that I have, this regular size AeroPress that I have, fits nicely onto my mug. And that means that I can uh, do my coffee brewing directly into the mug that I'm drinking out of, and that solves the problem that I had with the AeroPress Go. But as it turns out, that's not the only issue that this new AeroPress solves for me. Uh, what I found out is that uh, this new AeroPress is a better fit for me because I normally brew up a very concentrated bit of coffee, and then I top up that concentrated coffee with some hot water, to uh, fill up my mug. Uh, that's how I have been making coffee. So it would be a little bit like making uh, a cafe Americano, uh, which is a term that Starbucks likes to use and other coffee cafes do as well. Uh, but what I found is that uh, the, 
little bit extra size that I gain with the new AeroPress, since it's just a little bit bigger, the capacity is just a little bit bigger, uh, gives me a little bit better tasting coffee, I think. Uh, I can make up a little bit more of that concentrated brew, and then I'm not topping up that coffee with uh, too much hot water, and so I think uh, that it gives me a better tasting cup of coffee. Um, now, I, I did do some research on this, and some of the baristas that are on YouTube say that that's not true, that they have found that uh, they can do that same thing that I do, uh, make that concentrated coffee with the narrow press go and top it up with hot water and it tastes just as good as a regular size narrow press but my taste buds disagree so um your your results may vary if if you are trying this yourself but uh just from what I found, I, I think that this new AeroPress uh, suits me much better. Now, while I am happy that my coffee brewing is easier and more flavorful, that's not the real story here. That's not the real interesting part of the story here. The interesting story here is about the company itself. Uh, I have just found out that AeroPress uh, was sold by the original owner and inventor off to a large corporation. Now this could be good and this could be bad, and I have kind of mixed feelings about uh, what has gone on here. Uh, on the one hand, uh, the AeroPress brewer is much more easy to find now. Now because this larger company is uh, trying to push the product out and get it available to more people, uh, you can find AeroPresses in more stores than you've ever have before, uh, and that's good. Uh, the bad news is it does seem like they're doing things a little different than the original inventor has been doing business, and that I find to be a little bit sad. Now, the AeroPress itself hasn't changed too much. The brewer is pretty much the same as it has always been. Uh, they've made some minor changes to the filter basket on the bottom here that holds the paper filter in, uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the, the brewer still works very well and still makes great coffee, uh, but they have made some changes with what they include in the packaging. So if you've bought an AeroPress in the past, you may have known that they include a funnel uh, and a package of 350 paper filters. Well, both of those things have changed. Uh, the funnel is now not included in the regular packaging, uh, and the filter amount has dropped from 350 down to a measly 100. Uh, I believe there's 100 filters in there. I haven't opened them up and counted them yet, but uh, this was a little disappointing to me. It, it seems like the new ownership is penny-pinching a little bit, and I don't like that. And I would think that the original owner of the company uh, would not really appreciate these little penny-pinching measures. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but um, hopefully uh, Mr. AeroPress inventor, his name is Alan Adler, uh, hopefully he is uh, having a nice retirement, uh, and I, I, I wish him all the best, uh, because he really has made a great brewer that I think everybody would like if they gave it a chance. So I would say if you are on the fence before about buying an AeroPress, and you were thinking about buying one, but you've just been putting it off, uh, now might be the time to just go ahead and buy one, but search out uh, some of the old original AeroPresses in the original packaging. Uh, if you want that funnel uh, that the original one did uh, include, you would have to go and buy one of the old stock items. Now I know uh, there's a store in Seattle, uh, that has some old stock that I saw. Uh, I opted to buy one of the newer versions of the AeroPresses because I didn't actually need the funnel. So for me, uh, the new one doesn't really have any drawbacks of any sort, but uh, it, is, it is something to keep in mind that uh, they are uh, giving us a little bit less for our price uh, that we're paying. Uh, in fact, I think the price went up uh, with the new company. I think the new corporation has raised prices a little bit on the R Press. So if you're if you're on the fence, you may want to 
search out uh, some of the old packaging, some of the original AeroPresses. If, if you're on the fence about just an AeroPress in general, I don't think you would be uh, bad off buying either one of them. I think that they're both uh, perfectly good. Uh, keeping in mind you get less uh, filters, so you may have to do what I did and go out and buy yourself a box of uh, the original box of 350 filters. I went in and bought this one at an REI store because REI carries them. And um, I've been around Seattle and there's lots of REI stores around Seattle. So it was pretty easy for me to get some more filters. Um, but it is it is a little disheartening to see that some companies uh, decide to penny pinch a little bit and leave us kind of out in the cold, I think. It's not something I like to see, uh, but um, I still like the Brewer. Uh, in fact, I still have two of them here in my fan. Still have uh, the one I just bought and the AeroPress Go that I've had for quite a while. Uh, I am looking to get rid of this old AeroPress Go, and I have been looking to gift it to somebody that uh, would like it, uh, but uh, maybe doesn't have the funds to buy one for themselves. And uh, now that the prices have gone up a bit, um, might be a good might be a good gift for somebody. So if you see me out in about and you are looking for a coffee brewer uh, that you would like, um, let me know. Flag me down, knock on my door. Well, don't knock on my door if I'm if I'm sitting and sleeping, but if you see me out and about, definitely inquire uh, if I still have the AeroPress go. Uh, because I'd gladly give it to you. Uh, I don't need two of them. Uh, the new one has been working out very well for me, and I've been very happy with it. Um, and I, I think that this old version that I've been using, this AeroPress Go that I've been using, is a perfectly good brewer. Um, it did work very well for me for quite some time. Uh, it's just that my new mug here... Uh, doesn't work so well with it. So that, that would be one thing to keep in mind if you are going to ask me about it. Um, if you have a normal shaped mug that you're brewing into, uh, the AeroPress Go would work very well. Uh, if you have a mug like I do that's a little bit of an oddball shape, uh, you might want to just opt for the, uh, the regular AeroPress. Um, interestingly, the new company is really uh, not only trying to get the products out there into more stores, but they're also getting more versions of the AeroPress out there, and they do have a larger version of the AeroPress. Uh, it's bigger in all dimensions, and so you can make more coffee at once. So if that's important to you, you can search out one of those. Uh, I believe they are available on the AeroPress website and also on REI's website. Um, if you are in the Seattle area, the uh, flagship store in Seattle, downtown Seattle, does have them in stock. Um, I don't know the name of that uh, larger AeroPress. It may be an AeroPress XL. I'm, I'm not sure. But, uh, but yeah, I, I like just the regular AeroPress the best uh, of the two that I've tried. And I, I don't see a points in the larger one. Um, I'm actually able to make two cups of coffee at a time with the regular size AeroPress just using uh, the way that I do it. I, I would put uh, double the amount of coffee grounds in, uh, brew it as normal, press it as normal, and then just top off uh, my two cups of coffee. I, I would divide this out into two, two different cups, two different mugs, and then top those two mugs off with hot water and that works perfectly well for me so I don't see a, a point in the larger one I think that this size is the best one um, if if you're looking to buy one and, you, and you're wondering about the two sizes I would say go with the regular one I think it's the best deal I think it's just works better I, I say just buy one I, I think that you would be happy with it um, and that's that's not an endorsement for the company. I'm 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 actually kind of uh, I'm a little bit sad to see that the original owner sold it off. I I imagine maybe his family uh, didn't want it, and it was getting time for him to retire, and so things change. Uh, but I'm happy that AeroPresses are still around, and I'm happy that they are uh, even easier to find nowadays. So it's all good, I guess. 
So it's not my endeavor to get you to go out and purchase items that you don't need, but if you are looking to upgrade your coffee making and maybe have a more consistent cup of coffee, uh, then I can highly recommend an AeroPress. Uh, but if you're happy with your coffee brewing method of choice, then I encourage you to just pass up the AeroPress and uh, keep using what's working for you. And with that, I think I'm going to get back to my cup because I've got a little bit left to drink. So I'm going to enjoy this while it's still warm and uh, wish you a pleasant evening or day whenever you're watching this. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.